I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler discovered a new life philosophy about living a life filled with creativity, high energy, and enjoyment. Today, we're going to talk about feelings from the heart for a new way of life. What is this new way of life? I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life? It's know who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four places you can think from, the head brain, the heart, the belly brain, and the mind. We're going to talk about thinking from the heart and not from the head. Let's start with what are the feelings from the head? Everyone knows these feelings when you're mad and angry. Where does these feelings come from? It's from the head. When you're feeling bad about yourself or feeling re resentful, where are these feelings coming from? They're coming from the head. If you're angry, you're thinking from the amygdala, anger center. If you're thinking about yourself, you're thinking from the cingulate stress center. If you have a bad health habit, you're thinking from the accumbens addiction center. Sounds like the head is not a healthy place to think from. What happens when you think from the head? Thinking from the head, thinking from the anger center, thinking from that self-thinking stress center, it's unhealthy because this causes adrenaline cortisol release. And that results in inflammation leading to heart disease, strokes, and cancer. Thinking from that singulate self-thinking center causes depression. Everyone gets angry and people like to think about themselves. Both of these are unhealthy. How can we stop thinking this way? That's where the heart comes in. Bypass that anger center and that self-thinking stress center. Think from the heart. How does that help? New science has found that the heart has neural tissue capable of feelings and decision making. The heart has 40,000 neurons that are just like those neurons in the brain. That's not very many, but it's sufficient to have positive, healthy feelings and make healthy decisions. The function of the heart is to keep itself healthy. How does the heart keep itself healthy? The heart keeps itself healthy with those neurons for positive feelings and healthy decisions. These keep the heart healthy and the body too. What are the feelings from the heart? The feelings include kindness, empathy, and giving. Other feelings include being grateful, appreciation, and forgiving. These feelings keep the heart healthy and other people healthy too because these feelings can be transmitted outside the body. For example, the feeling of kindness comes from the heart. Being nice comes from the head. That's something learned. It's superficial. Feelings from the heart are transmitted outside the body and can be felt by other people without even saying the word. What about empathy? Empathy comes from the heart. This feeling means what other people are experiencing. It's putting yourself in the other person's situation. This is a feeling from the heart, not from the head. For example, a spouse, a friend, or a coworker, they may want someone to listen to how they feel. I'm not interested in solving a problem. Listen to that person with empathy. This results in a good feeling. This also is a good way to bypass the anger center. Someone yells at you. Don't let this trigger that anger center. Feel empathy from the heart and you won't respond with anger. It feels good to give. Why? The feeling of giving comes from the heart. Giving with expecting nothing in return comes from the heart. It's a good feeling. Giving Expecting something in return comes from the head, it comes from the brain, from that self-thinking singular stress brain region. When you give expecting something in return, you know it, and so does the other person. Just give your time, give your help, volunteer. It feels good. It's from the heart. 
What about the feelings of being grateful, appreciation, and forgiving? By now, you're learning where these healthy feelings come from. Being grateful and appreciating things you have or appreciating someone who helped you. This feels good. It's from the heart. Forgiving, that comes from the heart. You can't forgive from the head. Forgive someone who has done something wrong to you from the heart will make that unhealthy memory disappear forever. These positive feelings from the heart keep the heart healthy. How do making decisions keep the heart healthy? For those important life decisions, the heart will provide a single answer that is best for your health. For example, a new job with a special title, money or prestige. Thinking from the brain results in hours of conflicting thought about the advantages and the disadvantages. Not from the heart. You have a new romantic relationship. Listen to your heart. There will be a clear and immediate answer. The one that is best for your health and for an enjoyable life. What about close relationships? Where does the heart fit in? Studies have shown that having two to three close relationships is the single best measure for living a long and healthy life. A close relationship is with someone where you can be your true self without concern for criticism, judgment, or blame. You have each other's back no matter what happens. The way to develop a close relationship with someone is using feelings from the heart, not from the head. Feeling from the head, including anger, judgment, resentment, and even retaliation, have no place in a close relationship. How does thinking from the heart help develop close relationships? Being kind to each other by giving, not taking. Giving your time, your attention, your help. Being grateful and appreciating things together comes from the heart. Could you give some examples of thinking from the head and thinking from the heart? I'll give you three. Say, nice to see you from the head. Now, put your hand over your heart and say, nice to see you. Say that from the heart. This feels good. And the other person feels good too. Another example. Say to yourself, I'm going to be nice to someone today. Now say, I'm going to be kind to someone today. Saying that word kind feels good. It feels like it comes from the heart, not from the head. A third example, start thinking about not having enough money or problems with a relationship, either a romantic relationship or relationship at work. These, these thoughts feel bad. You're thinking from the head, singulate, stress center with those thoughts. Now, think about helping someone, giving your help, giving your time, just helping someone. That feels good. You're giving. It's from the heart. Finishing up, do you have a call to action? Try this. Think from your heart for the next hour. If anger is triggered from the head, use empathy from the heart. Feeling sorry for yourself, be kind to yourself from the heart. Thoughts of resentment or retaliation, just give. Help someone. Think from the heart. Bypass those head thoughts. Let us know how this makes you feel. Do you have any closing comments? Know who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four places you can think from. The head, the heart, the belly brain, and the mind. Bypass that unhealthy thinking from the head and think from the heart with feelings of kindness, empathy, and giving. Thinking from the head is unhealthy, unproductive, and causes stress. Thinking from the heart is healthy and feels good. This is a new way of life for extraordinary living. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about thinking from your mind and not from your head. 